On one of Jesus' many preaching tours, he made a most profound statement. He said, The harvest is great, but the workers are few. Beg the master of the harvest to send out more workers into the harvest. And we have seen how Jehovah has indeed granted that request, as throughout the world the vast growth of Kingdom Proclaimers has truly increased. Among us though are those who have taken an active share in the preaching work, yes, our regular pioneers. But just how it is that we have benefited from the assistance that our regular pioneers give to us? Well, here is just a few examples of how is it that sisters in our congregation have benefited from the fine example of our regular pioneers. Well, it's a pleasure to have four pioneers in our congregation. They have to be commended for their being in the ministry each week. I know that some of them have family responsibility, yet they use that opportunity to give praise and honor to Jehovah by pioneering on a regular basis and I have to commend them for the effort and I really appreciate the way they are busy in the ministry. This really impresses upon others to see the need. If they can make room for pioneering, then they can join the rank and I'm quite sure that they will receive Jehovah's blessing like how those pioneers are really enjoying the ministry and Jehovah is blessing their efforts. Thank you. I admire the zeal of the pioneer. They have helped me a lot in the ministry and especially my Bible teacher. She would counsel me time and time again. And one of the counsel that stuck with me, she would say, uh, don't expect perfection from our fellow believers. We are all servants of Jehovah, but we are all imperfect humans. Remembering this has helped me to have a better relationship with my spiritual brothers and sisters. Working with a pioneer in my congregation has helped me a lot. When I'm in the ministry, they have helped us to use the Bible skillfully. During the house-to-house -house work, we listen to the pioneer carefully while they make their presentation. After the next door, we would make our presentation. After we make our presentation, they would commend us and give us tips and advice as to where we fall short or where we could, especially one that I dearly love. I'm very happy to have these pioneers in our congregation. They are really a source of encouragement, especially when we're able to work along with them. They also upbuild us and this motivate me to do more in the service, although I cannot do enough. But when I see the zeal that they have, it also motivates me to do more in the service. And they also help me to work along with them. Most of the time and many of the things that they say, I'm able to grasp it and this helped me to continue in the service. So I'm very happy to have them and wish them that they may continue in the service because it is a blessing and Jehovah will always bless their effort as long as they continue and do their best in Jehovah's service. They will always be rewarded by Jehovah. Growing up, I appreciated the personal interests of the pioneers. As a result of having a very close relationship with them, it helped me to have a love for the service, helped me to be adaptable in the ministry, and it helped me to be a people person. So having that influence, it even motivated me to reach out to serve in areas where the need was greater, sign language being an option, as well as moving to a congregation that needed help. So I really do appreciate the effort of the pioneers in the congregation. Keep up the good work and thank you so much for the influence you've had on me. Wasn't that just wonderful to hear our sisters expressing how they appreciated our regular pioneers? 
but let me just say thank you thank you to our dear pioneers for your great example that you have set in the congregation and the many ones that you have helped to come into the truth and i wish for you jehovah's richest blessings